Hey guys, this is Agent Mindstorm. I don't really know what to do for my intro here because I'm not in a world, but basically guys, I'm just making this short video today to tell you there's a very important thing that you must do on Minecraft Bedrock Edition as soon as possible. See this store? Click it. Now there are three new free things that have just released on Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and they will likely be gone in like a week or two because then that's when Minecon Earth will be over. So basically, you're going to want to scroll down in your worlds until you find worlds right here at the bottom. As you can see, Abstraction Minecon Earth, it will be absolutely free. Download this. It's likely going to disappear in like a week or two because Minecon Earth is going to be over. This also right here, Purple Party Parrot Pal... Ugh, alliteration. Basically, this is free. I wouldn't really recommend it. It's really laggy on mobile devices. At least it was on my tablet. It's kind of like a mini tutorial world since there's no tutorial on Pocket Edition yet. Download that too. And then also, you're going to want to download the free skin pack. Yes, it's a skin pack, but it's free, so don't complain. The Minecon Earth skin pack. It's only eight skins, and it doesn't even have like a cape skin, unlike all the other ones. But as you can see right down here, Minecon Earth 2017 skin pack. Which, now the name of that makes me think they might be doing more Minecon Earths, which is worrying because... Uh, that's it's just... No one really likes that idea, honestly. But basically, here's the eight skins. You get like an Alex holding a globe, a Steve holding a cake, a blue sheep costume, cardboard cosplayer apparently, party Alex who looks nothing like Alex, party Steve who looks really, really happy, pinata who is uh, a pinata, and a... I like this one, actually. Let's equip that skin. You have equipped the Creeper cosplay skin. Okay, now let's create one of the worlds. I guess I can show you... Let's see, this uh, Minecon Earth map is actually kind of... You know what? I think I'll just leave that one for you guys to experience. So I'm going to show you the one I don't like as much, which is Purple Party Palace Parrot something. I don't care. Basically, we're going to put this in creative. Now, the picture for this is not the best. As you can see, it just shows some random... Gameplay. It honestly looks like one of the auto-generated ones. We're gonna just turn on Always Day 2. So, now let's head into the world so that I can just show you what this world is. And so you'll know that it's probably not worth picking up, but if you are, like, brand new, I guess, and you don't know about crafting, it's kind of useful. Like, it tells you banner and firework stuff. And there's some other things you learn, too. So basically... When you start, you'll just be spawned in this little house. Oh, look at this skin. I actually like this skin because it looks like you're holding something. And let's actually use a different skin now. Let's use... How about Steve holding a cake? Because that's a nice skin. It looks kind of weird when you walk because it just kind of ruins the illusion, but whatever. So basically, when you start, you'll be put in this random little treehouse. You can grab an Elytra. You can grab a bajillion fireworks from this chest. And then you can just fly off into the distance because... That's what you do in this map. There's really not too much to do in this map. Like, you fly in this direction. You follow the beacons. And then you find this place. This is the purple party parrot place of things. And now these buildings have sort of tutorial-ish things. But it's kind of like the first tutorial for Minecraft Xbox. Like, not really a tutorial. There's just a bunch of crafting recipes on the walls, really. It's like, pretty much it's all banner stuff, actually. Like, this whole palace is really just how to teach you to banner craft. And then there's another one across here, which teaches you how to craft fireworks. So that's this one right over here. Now this one I think is a little more interesting because fireworks are harder. And wow, that's a lot of diamonds. But basically, apparently trigger the redstone with this button. There's nothing in there. That's a disappointment. What is this? See the yellow and red small ball. See, like, these are kind of cool. Like, you can see different fireworks in the game. And yeah, that's nice, I guess. It's free, too, so this map's free. Um, press the button for a big fireworks show. It just gave me a broken music disc. Good job, game. That's not a fireworks show. There are also a bunch of um, parrots around, true to the name of the map. And now, let's actually... The one goal here, the one sort of goal that they set you... Oh, and it also teaches you about armor stands, so that's kind of cool. But basically, the one goal that it gives you is to find the music disc weight. Now, I already found 11, which is half of the puzzle already. So you gotta bring music disc 11 into this room at this big wall mosaic thing. I don't, not a mosaic, I don't know what to call it, but basically, here it is, and it's supposed to give you the music disc, the weight music disc, but what ends up happening is that they didn't even test their own map because the music disc 
gets stuck underground down here. Now, at least when I played it before, that's what happened. Certainly isn't in my inventory. Wow, on this map it just didn't do anything at all. Basically, what's supposed to happen is you play the 11 music disc. Uh, where is the 11 music disc anyways? Right here. Okay, records. Apparently they're called records. Whatever. Oh my gosh, I found a... Uh, guys? Guys, I found a glitch. Okay then, well basically, that's not what's supposed to happen. You're supposed to get this music disc here, and then take it over to the little castle over here, play it here, and then it starts lag... Then it starts lagging your game to death, because it decides to start shooting fireworks and stuff. It's just, this map is pretty low quality, guys. It's free, so can't complain there. But, is it really good? In my general, what I got from this map, oh, oh, this is new. There's a jungle temple. That's actually kind of cool, I guess. Let's see if there's anything in it, or if it's just like a default jungle temple that's empty. Nope, looks like it really is a full jungle temple here. Uh, does it have the puzzle? Does it have stuff behind here? It really does. Oh! So they actually did put some stuff to explore. Okay. So it kind of is like the tutorial world, actually. They put a few things to explore, I guess. That's a little better than I thought. Still, not the most amazing map, but I guess it's fun for like 20 minutes. Not as crazy as any tutorial, but it's kind of cool. There's some like random statues of parrots and stuff. So yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. I just really wanted to tell you, download this free skin pack and two free maps before they disappear. I don't think this map will disappear because it's like a tutorial, but I'm... I'm worried about the other maps disappearing, like the uh, Minecon Earth map, which of course I haven't shown you. Look at this, a little village. I guess there really is some cool stuff in this map, and it's not really all I saw. So I guess I just did it a little early. So anyways, guys, that is the end of this video. So for now, I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.